Let's see how we can fix the ghosting issue after installing Luke's FSR3 mod into Cyberpunk 2077 version 2.12 update. As always, remember to like and subscribe. Go to the first link in the description. You'll need a Nexus mod account to download from here. After that, navigate to the Files tab and download a file according to your screen ratio. For example, I downloaded the 16x9 file. Next, join the Discord link for the rest of the files. Now, head to your game installation folder, not the application location. Open the FSR3 zip and extract everything as demonstrated in the video. If you've installed the mod before, you'll need to overwrite everything because when Cyberpunk releases an update, it breaks custom mods. However, if you are installing this mod on a freshly installed game, you won't have to overwrite it. Next, we need to edit the .toml file. Open it, and if you're planning to use DLSS with frame generation, you don't need to change the mode command. But if you want to use FSR or XSS with frame generation, you do need to change the mode command. Since I'm going to use XS with frame generation, I'll make this change. For AMD users, make sure to set the fake NVIDIA GPU command to true. For both NVIDIA and AMD users, if you can't toggle frame generation or DLSS, or if the options are greyed out, set this to true as well. This step is not necessary. Do this only if you encounter the previously mentioned issue. Save and close the file. Go to the installation directory again and extract everything in the ghosting fix zip file here. Then, open the game. If you've installed this mod for the first time, you'll receive a message to bind a key. Click on Unbound and press any key you don't use for the game. Then press the same key to close the menu appearing after binding the key. As you can see, my game version is 2.12. so there are no ghosting issues. However, if you look closely, you may notice a bit of ghosting in front of the car, but it's not that noticeable. Make sure your game can hit at least 60 FPS with frame generation turned on for the ghosting fix to work properly. Remember, the higher your base FPS, the better. That's it. If you learned anything from this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Have a nice day.